tornadoes are one of nature's most destructive and awe-inspiring phenomena. These violent, rotating columns of air can cause massive destruction and loss of life, leaving behind a trail of destruction in their wake. But how do tornadoes form, and what is the science behind their destructive power? In this article, we'll explore the fascinating process by which tornadoes develop and the factors that contribute to their incredible force. Tornadoes are created by a combination of atmospheric conditions and weather patterns. Most tornadoes occur within a region known as Tornado Alley, which stretches from the southern plains of the United States up into the Midwest. This area is particularly susceptible to tornadoes because it lies within the area where warm, moist air from the Gulf of Mexico meets cool, dry air from the north. The first step in tornado formation is the development of a thunderstorm. Thunderstorms are formed when warm, moist air rises into the atmosphere and condenses, releasing heat and energy in the process. This creates an updraft of warm air, which continues to rise as more warm, moist air is drawn in from the surrounding area. As the warm air rises, it begins to cool, and water droplets within the air begin to condense into clouds. This process releases even more heat, further fueling the updraft. Eventually, the updraft reaches a point where it can no longer support the weight of the air above it, and it collapses, creating a downdraft. At this point, a number of factors can contribute to the formation of a tornado. One key factor is wind shear, which occurs when wind speed and direction change with altitude. In the presence of wind shear, the updraft of a thunderstorm can begin to rotate, creating a spinning column of air known as a mesocyclone. If the mesocyclone continues to intensify, it can create a low-pressure area at the base of the storm. This draws in even more warm, moist air from the surrounding area, fueling the storm and causing the rotating column of air to intensify. Eventually, this can result in the formation of a tornado. Once a tornado has formed, it can cause massive destruction due to its intense winds and low pressure. The winds within a tornado can reach speeds of up to 300 miles per hour, causing buildings to be ripped apart and trees to be uprooted. The low pressure within the tornado can also cause objects to be sucked into the vortex, adding to its destructive power. In conclusion, tornadoes are a fascinating and destructive force of nature. By understanding the process by which they form and the factors that contribute to their destructive power, we can better prepare for and mitigate the damage caused by these incredible phenomena. While tornadoes can never be completely eliminated, with the right knowledge and preparation, we can minimize their impact and protect ourselves and our communities from their devastating effects. Tornadoes can occur in almost any part of the world, but they are most common in the United States. The United States sees an average of about 1,200 tornadoes per year. Tornadoes can range in size from just a few feet wide to over a mile wide. The fastest wind speed ever recorded in a tornado was 318 miles per hour, which occurred during the May 3, 1999, tornado outbreak in Oklahoma. Tornadoes can last anywhere from a few seconds to several hours. Tornadoes can appear in many different colors, including white, gray, black, and even blue. The word, tornado, comes from the Spanish word, torner, which means, to turn. Tornadoes can create a distinct sound, often described as a roar or a freight train. Tornadoes can occur at any time of day or night, but they are most common in the late afternoon and early evening. The deadliest tornado on record occurred in Bangladesh in 1989, killing an estimated 1,300 people. Tornadoes can leave behind a trail of destruction that is several miles long. The Fujita scale is used to measure the strength of tornadoes, with ratings ranging from F0, weak, to F5, strong. Tornadoes can pick up and carry objects as heavy as cars and even houses. Tornadoes are often accompanied by hail and lightning. Some tornadoes can have multiple vortices, are small, rotating whirlwinds within the main vortex. Thanks for watching.